What's the deal with Ark? Oh, what's that's I don't know. Jerry's. What's the deal with Ark? What are we gonna do about Ark? Are we having a Seinfeld off? I yes, we I hope are. not. Oh, come on, you just shot on my uh. <laughs> impression. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? Ark, yeah, that was my impression. So Ark, what's going on with it? What's happening with it? What did it Seinfeld say? What's going on? What's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> deal. Yeah, I said, what's the deal? What's the deal with cell phones? <laughs> I, can't, I used to be able to do... Ah, fuck it. It was pretty good. I, it was pretty yeah. good. It's an acceptable Look. Seinfeld thing. All right. So, hey, <laughs> Don't arc. beat yourself up. Yeah. All right. Arc. Yeah, we're done. We're not done. We're From taking now, a break. Now, well, yeah. You know, let me finish. say, taking a break. We're done with Genesis 2. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to figure some things out. I got to say this. Had a little bit of fun in that map, but probably my least favorite map we've played. You, you had fun in there? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I had bits of fun. Um, those missions, though. Yeah, there was they, a few good ones. There, were, there was a couple in there. Like that Star Fox one I really enjoyed just because it was so different. But, uh, yeah, a lot of them, there were just unnecessary gauntlets. Yeah. I enjoyed looking at it. And that was about where it ended for me, mm -hmm. personally. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. And I think anybody who watches the show kind of felt, you know, we've re recorded our frustration <laughs> and it made its way into the yeah. show. Well, we kind of hoped that it would be different because there is, we've never had much use of tech suits. We really got to, I do like that part because I really learned to use a tech suit pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we want to fly around, zip around. <laughs> we'll but never, it, we'll but never be able to get them in, nah. real, in a real and game. And you know what? I'm glad because it makes the game less fun. Yeah, but, but when you earn it, I'm sure it feels kind of nice. And but it's like the game's over things. at that point almost. Yeah. We, we, have, it, have we gone around the horn? Favorite map? Ooh, favorite map, probably well, Ragnarok for me. Yeah, probably Ragnarok for me too. I came Same. in late, so mine was probably Valguero. Yeah, me Ragnarok, and you know what? I don't know for some reason Scorched Earth even. Though I you, know you. That, that's so weird. It's of fun. You to like, yeah, to you, like Scorched Earth. I like deserts though. And I wonder which one we played for the longest because I remember Scorched Earth feeling like forever. But maybe it was just because there was no probably fucking green. Ragnarok was probably the longest. Yeah, could be crazy. Mm -hmm. That's where Cooter died, right? Ragnarok? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Because that's yeah, when I, I came in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cooter was Ragnarok. Yeah. I yeah. came in right Ragnarok. after uh, or right during. Yeah. Ragnarok was a good map. And that new map they have out now, Lost Island, that yeah. looks pretty good. But it's, uh, yeah, I think we just need a break from yeah. Mark. We've been playing it so long and it's been such a staple. But yeah, it's just like, okay. Even if we go back to it after a couple months, we just need to step back for a minute. We're waiting for Ark Manhattan. Yeah. Well, it's like seven days. Like seven days is great because. We stop, and then we, we, we get a chance to miss it. Then we're excited. Yeah, and it's like, oh, okay, I can't wait to go back and play that again. It's like, Ark right now just feels like, oh, God, I got to play this again. And we like, also, I don't like feeling like that about anything I play. We, mm. we give seven days a chance on that break uh, for them to make it better True. every time. Yep. Um, we're at Genesis 2. They made it worse. <laughs> uh, they had some big vision, man. man. And Yeah, yeah it's an odd, it was so, so many odd design choices because I really think, my favorite looking map is Genesis 2. Yeah, I agree. When I hopped in and saw, wow, we're on this big halo ring. Oh, the diversity and, and everything. Yeah, this, mm -hmm. you know, I wish it was a little bit more diverse. I don't think there's a desert biome. I don't think there's a red tree biome. I just like, hate, like, remember when we were, like, flying up the other day and, like, looking around and there was that cave that you went into, like, up in that one corner? Right. A pointless. Yeah. There's, like, yeah, there's nothing. nothing. And that's always, you know, and that's, that's always, we've general. always complained about that with Ark. It's like, oh, there's a waterfall. What's behind this waterfall? Nothing. Or there's a cave. Ooh, I wonder what's in this cave. Nothing. I get it in a big map sense where, like, you can explore anywhere, set up a base anywhere, all that stuff. And granted, you could do that here, but, like, there's just no reason to ever even go up to those places right. in Genesis 2. Well, that's the thing. It's like a lot of these arc maps are designed for PvP. Yep. And we play PvE. But that's where Conan succeeded, was yes. you could do PvP and PvE but still have those objectives and those mysterious things that you can seek yeah. out. Yeah. Cities with uh, populated people. You had missions you could go on. And yeah. it was laid out and it was like, you know, yeah, the, uh, the uh, what was it? Your journey or whatever. It's like, yeah. this is probably what you should try to do next. Go kill the king of the sewer. Yeah. And it was like, all right, now, now we got to figure out how and to get once to the you sewer do, and kill this you king. You can build better armor. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, but and and it, yeah, Conan did that right by doing that and still managing to be open ended where you could go wherever you want. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's like I want Ark and Conan to have a baby. And you guys, you more guys want to play Conan? Yeah, <laughs> we can go back to Conan. <laughs> that is definitely an option because I enjoyed playing that too. There were all these mini bosses all over the place, series. right? Yeah, it was a very yeah. fun series. Ada did a wonderful job mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we got some things up in the air right now. I know Sea of Thieves is also an option. Going yeah. back there for a little bit. I'm looking forward to playing some of those new missions. 
Yeah, the Disney stuff. Mm-hmm. Me Check too. Those out. I think one of the positive things about us getting kind of tired of Genesis 2 is um, when Jack jumped over to seven days with me, Anthony, uh, these last couple episodes have been quite a quite a hoot. Yeah. I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Anthony came in like a storm. It's like, we're, we're having some fucking fun, damn it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. He wants, he wants uh, yeah, the t- little TV challenge that he yeah. did. Yeah. The that TV looked great, folks. It I don't did. know if you know this, but there's no TV in ARC. Good <laughs> right. job, Anthony. You also can't play Halo in ARC. <laughs> no. The you fuck can't, I can't. But you can with a laptop right next to it in your other computer. That worked out well. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. After he was at his desk with a laptop on it, as yeah. well as his desktop. Yeah, I had Ark running on the desktop, I had Halo running on the laptop, and I was just, <laughs> just reacting to what I'm playing. It made for great improv conversation for you talking about things in the game and yeah, us, yeah. the contrast. Yeah, back and forth. You were so excited about birthing these Spinos. Four I Spinos that orgy was, like, was amazing. <laughs> Because, yeah, that one mission turned me off so much. Like, uh, having to fix those whatever in the vents. Ah, whatever. I don't want to do it. They're convoluted, too. And I can't believe they expected everyone to do it. Every one of us, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it, that's how it's structured. It's, it's structured for these PvP players that are really good. And there's right. probably a lot of our community that's part of groups that can probably go into these missions and fucking kill it, know exactly what to do. But, you know, we're, we're more of a casual crowd. Uh, we don't play games that much. And it's like, yeah, we just get just destroyed and it's not fun and that's the other thing it's like there's no the missions are one they're too long uh repetitive and it, 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 they feel like they don't matter yeah did you hear the youtuber over there say that we don't play games that much <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. we play more than your average joe but yeah we don't uh less yeah, than your average playing, gamer yeah, probably probably we yeah, don't less play than your one average game streamer. consistently yeah. no that's the thing yeah we're yeah, bouncing around to a bunch of other ones yeah too but if the missions had some sort of like reason other than like you've got to beat these missions to do the boss fight and i know they give you little like uh, buff buffs for a minute it's like i'll oh, beat this mission and you can tame a little faster who gives a shit mm. right but get, get, it, make them re- make some real like some real trophies or whatever you yeah a them, weapon you know? something yeah. now yeah. my now my ro- or my um what's the suit called tech, tech suit? suit tech suit now it can fly couldn't before. Yeah, like I can you upgrade unlock something. Stuff. Yeah, there's better ways to design that. And I mean, I, I feel like they had big ideas, but their execution was poor. Hmm. And what is supposed to be next is not Arc Three. What are they calling Arc it? Two. Arc, two. Arc Two. Oh, it is Arc Two. So <laughs> yeah. Arc Genesis. So Genesis Two. Genesis Two was different. And now than, yeah. Arc Two. Right. I well, see they, where your head's at. They're out to confuse everyone. That's their goal. Right. Yeah. It's funny how. Yeah. Unless hmm. you're an Arc person. So Arc Two. Vin Diesel. Story probably, but we don't. I thought we knew more, and then you guys like, no, we don't know. Nothing's confirmed. No, yeah, one trailer. There's been a there's been a trailer pop out. There's been no gameplay. No, also no um time frame. They say 2022. So uh, vague. It may happen this year, but let's face like games get delayed all the time. So there's a good chance it's not until 2023, 2024. Hey, was there a date on that? Um, what's the little game? Small Lands? Yeah. No, no date. Just 2022. The stuff you were looking at today looked great. The yeah. running animation Ooh, and the grapple, grapple hooks. Hook. and mm. Yeah, Small Lands is a, is a, little, a title on Steam. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of like Grounded, but kind of like Grounded and Arc mixed. It looks more fun to me. Okay. Than Grounded, yeah. Yeah. Thank you to our sponsor, NordVPN. And as always, they have your back by securing your personal data and your internet activity. It's easy to use. You connect with just one click or you enable auto connect for zero click protection. And they have over 5,200 servers in 60 countries. So you can find a server near you for better speed or not near you because with NordVPN, you have options, baby. And kiss bandwidth throttling, bye-bye, because NordVPN encrypts all your traffic so your internet provider can't slow down your streaming speed. And when it comes to speed, it's confirmed by speed test that NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. And again, NordVPN's hooking us up because they have a fantastic deal to share with our community. Go to nordvpn.com slash neebs to get a two-year plan plus one additional month free with a huge discount. And with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, they have you covered yet again. So go to nordvpn.com slash neebs to get a two-year plan plus one additional month free and a huge discount. Thank you, NordVPN. And we have talked, obviously we brought it up um, before, about Dying Light. The more I'm seeing Dying Light 2, uh, 
and I talked with Absher, it just it seems like we might do something with it, but it just seems so talky. Yeah, so we were we were looking for it's like maybe we can make a series out of this, but yeah, there's so much chatter. Ugh. Oh my god. And Which I understand it's like a story driven game, but it's it, it really did disappoint me when I played it because it feels like they're just making Dying Light again. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh man, this feels like game design from twenty thirteen. It's like they haven't progressed mm. at all. It's like hey, hey, hey guys, Breath of the Wild came out. I don't know if you noticed, but if you're making an open world game now, the Breath of the Wild came out and showed <laughs> everyone how to do it. Yeah. So you're a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fan of a game that just drops me into a world, like gives me like a little bit of story. It's like, well, go do this at your leisure. And it just lets me go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Dying Light has two hours of opening. Hey, follow me. We got to go over here. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Two hours of it. I think the biggest Breath of the Wild, like, amazing thing is that you can go right to the final boss. Yeah. From the time you start. Mm-hmm. And you can tackle you any objective really? in any order. I mean, you're going to get crushed. Yeah, of course, yeah, but yeah. You can you're go not see even going to make it to. <laughs> but you, oh, you're not going to. But make you it could right. go, okay. and if you got lucky. And some and people have. You can to, go you on could... YouTube. Some people have started. The speedrunners have started the game up, gone right to the final boss, and beat his ass. Yep. With, I love that. With that's three an hearts. option. Right. <laughs> I, it doesn't seem right. It's. I mean, it's. But it, yeah. But it is there. It's available. Yeah. It's like if you were in a real life situation out there in those fields, you could make your way right to the final boss without being restricted by, you know. I would find a shovel and I would bury myself in a hole. Sure. Sure. If it was me. <laughs> yep. If it was you. Well, you'd die that way. Too. Yes, but okay. it'd be much better to die that way. You think? Slowly, maybe. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Slower the better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But that's that's game. We want to switch gears. Anybody got anything else on their mind? Oh, Mark Cuban. I mean, to go to, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's a good do transition. It. Do it. Look, I brought it up yeah. before the podcast. Mm-hmm. It was just some something interesting that I heard. And I was interested. And I, did, and I didn't think that we'd talk about it on the podcast, but it's like, no, say that. Why not? Yeah. Okay. But maybe towards the end. Yeah. But then it's right fascinating. Here is I know nothing about it. Yeah. So well, okay. he's looking yeah, to fuck Big Pharma. I love it. Oh, my God. And they're going to probably kill him. So, <laughs> <laughs> probably, Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get the name of this this website. And speaking of, fuck Big Farm. Yeah, honestly, oh, yeah. good lord. I'm a big fan of Shark Tank. Has anyone else watch that? I've yeah. seen it, and I've enjoyed when I have seen it, but I don't watch it religiously. Yeah, I love it. People coming in with their ideas and pitching, and I think it's great. I haven't seen it in a couple of years, but I've why do you like bring that up in this seasons. case? Because Mark, Mark Cuban? Cuban is one of them. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. He's a judge. that, dude. So that's how much I know about I'm the shark. shark. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So cost plus drug company. Cost is plus. what it's called. He, it he just wants, it's a bad name, isn't it? Cost yeah. plus. It, it, it sounds, sounds like, like, it's, like it's gonna cost, cost you and more. Cost plus. Yeah. I bet I bet to cost, cost less. less. Let's, let's take that. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's got that. I do. Mark, come and get it. Like, does he have comparisons of what drugs yeah. normally cost and like, what they charge? Uh, imid- uh, I can't pronounce it. But there's this drug here that's twenty five hundred dollars. I want to hear you say it. Imatinibib. That's perfect. <laughs> that yep. Uh, <laughs> normally it costs twenty five hundred dollars, uh, but you can get it here for seventeen dollars and ten cents. That's Jesus. amazing. It's such a scam, man. No, no yeah. The, the, what they charge for some of these medicines? Are we like sure? Insulin. Insulin's one of those things. It's like crazy expensive it's for so, no reason. Yeah. Right. For no reason. For no reason other than someone wants to get fucking filthy rich. Now are these pet meds? The what pet? Are these no. pet? You know, because they that they would have, be good too to have. <laughs> I'd be because, fine with pet meds. Yeah, no, but that's so, great. I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, I I need to know more about this. I understand you might not know. How's he doing it, it? it? Like, I don't understand how it's done. And and so, is this a monthly service? Is this something like, or do I just go like, hey, I need this med- I need a medication that my my pharmacist wants to charge me four hundred bucks for it. Let me go online and see if I can get it. Here's how it works: find your medication, uh-huh. ask your doctor to send us a prescription uh-huh. receive your meds oh so they're just the pharmacy they're the pharmacy i love it yeah fuck walmart how pharmacy. are they doing that i think he's like buying stuff in bulk and not charging i don't know i did see the interview i need to watch it again okay yeah i'm curious but like he, this. he's a billionaire yeah right his, his his you know goal isn't to like jack this stuff through the roof oh, you mean like most billionaires mm-hmm. yeah yeah like mesalamin is how i'm guessing that that's perfect mesalamin? Again. yeah um two for two yeah, nine hundred and forty dollars normally, but you get it here for thirty two. They give you five dollars. <laughs> <for, laughs> wow, how that's does, amazing. How does good RX work? That makes no sense to me. 
They're Those like, I've seen commercials. You know what I'm talking about? No, yeah, what's, good, like, no what's good RX? Good yeah. RX cars, like get your good RX card and you go and you go to the pharmacist like, hey, that's 50 bucks. And you go, hey, good RX. And they go, hey, 15. <laughs> but I don't even have one. I just go to the pharmacy and they go, okay, it's 60 bucks. And I go, have you heard of good RX? And they're like, yep, 15. Are you kidding? You don't even have, have no, a that's, card. That's, I don't get it. Are you right. saying it? What yeah. the fuck is wrong with this system, man? Oh, lots of Oh, my things. God, I'm getting really mad right now. Yeah. But I've That's been. right. You just posted something recently. Oh, yeah. No, it's just, yeah, yeah it's infuriating. It's infuriating, this fucking system we got going on. Well, uh, mm. like when I had that uh, procedure back in June. Yeah. Uh, brain surgery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear <laughs> so that's the cheap. Bill, the bill was $100,000, <laughs> little, a little over. And then they're like, oh, we'll take some off because you had some ghetto insurance. I was like, oh, it's still quite a bit. Did yeah. you did you mention good RX? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I should call him call right him, now. Call him right now. Yeah. Yeah. Good that RX. Good. Forgot to tell you these uh, words. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh, okay, I can swing that. You dipshits. Uh, <laughs> but like, I remember you telling me the breakdown of that, and I remember you telling me maybe I'm wrong that the surgeon, like the surgery itself on your brain costs like three grand. Yeah. And then you, you start talking about like fucking adding shit onto the list. Cause that's like, time, like the anesthesiologist right? was probably more money, if not around the same money as your brain surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Actually the anesthesiologist I believe was uh $7,500. Yeah. But imagine that that's more insane. than double the, the procedure the to pers- fucking operate on the brain is the guy that knocks your ass out. Right. And, and then, monitors you while you're, that's insane. And then you were in, um, what was the room you were in? ICU. Like, ICU for like oh, two God. days. Like two days. Fifty grand a oh, night or something. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's so. what's that's what's the most infuriating. <laughs> yeah, thing and to me. Too. Hey, oh, luckily, luckily I, I recovered well and fast. Otherwise, I would have been in there seven days. You're done at that point. Yeah, You're like that's it. Yeah, I'll never honestly, have money ever. And they make you stay. They make <laughs> you stay. It's not like you can go like, hey, you know what? Just bring me to my car in the parking lot. They had they they make you stay so they could charge you fifty grand a night for. X amount well, of no, I, t- I told him, I was like, hey, well, for a couple I'm of fine. Months. Like, give this bed to somebody else who needs it. Thank goodness you said, no, get me out of here. It would have cost you even more. Huh. <laughs> it would have called me an ambulance to go downstairs. You can make oh, a man. company <laughs> called Good ICU, and they're across the street from the hospital, and they'll bring you back and forth for a cheaper stay every night. Well, <laughs> Damn, you know, there, there's those hosp- hospitals now, or I guess just medical centers that do things a la carte, and that's how I found out about... MRIs. You go mm-hmm. to Charleston. Yeah. Four hundred bucks a pop for an MRI. I think I, I told you about that. You told me about yeah. there. Yeah, and that's when I find found. And out I heard that about I brain that tumor from a chiropractor. Oh well, many years ago. He's like, yeah, you know, you can go to Charleston and get an MRI for like four hundred bucks. Jeez. I went there. I got an MRI after he did. Yeah. Because I needed to get one for my uh for my shoulder. Because I've been back for four. It's a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That one. <laughs> you, you got a punch card. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. Slightly ghetto. All right. But it's the same equipment. Oh, yeah. It's the it same is. magnetic. It is. It's just you're looking up at st- a stained drop ceiling. Okay. Right. I don't give a but fuck. But it detected your tumor. You know what? It did. No, it's good. But my point is. That wasn't good. Change the drop. No, that's <laughs> yeah, not no, good to that's detect what everyone's it. looking well, good. at. I'm <laughs> yeah. with you. But change it. Let's Everything else can be ghetto. Everything, Everything else, else is fine. You know what? Actually, it was just weird because it was it was like a building on the outside, right? So like, yeah, because I yeah. went to the same place, so it's like it looks like a little trailer. Yeah. So yeah. I went in there. I'm like, oh, okay, it's in here. It makes sense because of the radiation. Okay. Yeah. You walk in. There's a burning barrel. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a poster you know. of a Lamborghini Countach. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> it's like, why is this here? <laughs> What's going on? A lot of yeah. wood paneling. Anyway, it how was... much is drop ceiling? That's pretty cheap, right? Right. That's what really. It's like we don't need if there like was a three, leak, four bucks. Your, a panel. your track is a little rusty and bubbly, and then you got the stain in the actual they tile. Just put a poster up there of like a, one of those cats hanging on. <laughs> yeah, right. the motivational ones. You know, yeah, that'd be good. That you're that'd be at. better than a stained inspiration ceiling tile. Yeah, just saying. Oh. But good for them. Thanks, Mark Cuban. Yep. Speaking yeah. of how good is a Cuban? God, I love a Cuban. When you get to eat it, when someone doesn't steal it. Yeah, yeah that's boy, true. I don't, I don't keep bringing that i I've steal moved a on. cuban i'm glad you did neebs hasn't i'm bringing it up for you you won't wasn't your go. cuban neebs. you were walked away i'm angry for you still. you know what reminds <laughs> me that reminds me of a story maybe i said this like it's not even you're like i so to fill you in i stole uh by accident i took uh doors cuban because i thought it was my food 
from the refrigerator after a stream or after a recording. You took it home. Like that. I took it home. And then I left it in the car. So I didn't even get to eat it. And the next day I had to throw it away. And he's like, you stole my Reuben. So this is not Reuben. Cuban. Cuban. Yeah. But the, and you're Dallas like, he says cares. Cubano. He, it's yeah. a Cubano. It was a Cubano. Yes. So speaking of someone who cares more, I remember this is years ago, but we had uh, catered uh, a party for my mother. Right. And it was like, let's just say it was her 70th birthday. Right. So we catered a thing and and then we surprised her. You know, she it was a surprise party. And she's like, oh, well, look at this, this is unbelievable. And you're like, oh, where'd you get the food from? And we got it from I think it was Nicola's. It's a place here uh, in town. So Nicola. an Italian place. And then she found so she found something to complain about. Of course, she did about one of the dishes. Right? <laughs> That's where you get it. Right. Yeah, I was about to say it's, it's, it's a surprise yeah, party. But I don't. I would. I would do this. So I've gotten better, at least in the generation before, because yeah. my mother actually had the balls to try to call the. Pl- she didn't pay for any of this for her birthday. This was her party, and be like, see if she could get some sort of like discount oh on something or whatever, because <laughs> she cared more about that. Like you care more about the cubano. Like I didn't care. I'm like, oh, it's fine. It was as mediocre. They did a poor job on this tray. But whatever, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. It was compl- It was worthy of complaining. Uh-huh. But my mother cared more than we did, <laughs> God, and we found this. that out. It was just like, oh my, yep. you can't do that, honey. You can't. Yeah, this is making a lot Carrying of sense. Carrying that weight with you too, all that stress. Like, what are you yes. doing, ma? Well, Listen, speaking of that, did you ever replace this sandwich? No, no. It's never once didn't been even. Replaced, no. Okay. no, no, I you tried to pay for it. Hmm? No, he didn't pay for you it. Pay you for he it? He just either. left it in his car and took it and threw it away. Wow, what an asshole. If you called said, the authorities. That's life. <laughs> you know what? I, I just pretended we were still friends. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> I get it. A, a good Cubano. Now, I've eaten with you twice in the last two weeks. You have. Two weeks ago, you ordered the chicken piccata from Louie's, and I could. I already knew. I was like, they're not going to do it right. <laughs> yeah. This is not... Uh, California Pizza Kitchen. No. Why are you ordering that? Well, I ordered it because I wanted it. it Curious, was, too. I, I, curiosity. I was hungry. I wanted something different. I said, man, maybe Appstro says sometimes they've been, they do good food sometimes. Yeah, I don't, I don't venture into their entrees, though. Right, I know. That's a risk because <laughs> one, it's way too expensive what they do. You're asking for oh, yeah. yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, Anthony was with us, so he ordered the same thing. He ordered it first, and I said, yeah, I'm going to do it, too. Why not? Let's go in. I'm into judging. I want to judge this chicken piccata. <laughs> oh, I got a lot to judge about. It was shit. Yeah. It was a horrible chicken piccata. And it's like a there miccata. Was, there you was got like, two yeah. capers. There was. I had literally and six, man, probably. capers are like the jam on that. Yeah. That, and Anthony the sauce. had all the sauce. They yeah. made, they obviously made. They made two. Two. One for you, and one all, for Anthony. All of the sauce and the chicken wasn't it? It was like half the portion it should have been, and then all the sauce was on his. <laughs> so I had like just like oily noodles with a little piece of chicken on top, hardly any flavor. Now wait, was his good? Anthony, was yours good? It was okay. It was okay. okay. Yeah, I like how we rip on this place. It's like a block away. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Now yeah, I, I had the chicken marsala. It was a, it was also okay, but yeah, their prices. They're not like, worth it's, it. it's like big pharma. They can get yeah. away with murder yeah. out here. Their, their prices yeah. on charge nine hundred dollars yeah, for yeah. We chicken need, piccata. We need more Cuban. To more get Mark a Cuban. site going for yeah. Italian food. It's like eighteen, nineteen dollars an entree for Mark Cuban. It'll be like seventy five cents. You, yeah. You want to hear another uh, Simon story? Yeah. I'll bet he'll get all defensive and be like, bah, "Here bah, we bah, go." Bah, 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 what? <laughs> Remember that bag he gave me last week? That sweet. Yeah, bag from the sponsorship. Yeah, he came and took it away. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> what? Why'd you Why? take the bag away? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I don't even know if we're going to go with the sponsorship with these guys, but bespoke post. That's them. Uh, I needed I needed to record a video with their stuff in it. And you took the bag away from Gerald. I, the 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 I said I was going to give it back to him. I, but I went and I had I haven't to go seen the pick bag it up. Or the well, no, you'll or never see that bag. You'll never the, see it. Cuban. That's right. You, I, you know what? I'm going to burn that fucking bag <laughs> <laughs> just to spite you. And, and put a Cuban in it and burn that as well. Yeah, and send not? me the video. Yeah, put yeah, your really Cuban in it. Yeah. Well. So, anyway. So what, I understood. What I were you. You didn't like your sawmill last week either, did you? There was something wrong with it. I'm sure there was. You were was. asking, hey, can you do this? And she's like, no. And you're like, no, oh, she could do No, yeah, you, you got the chicken parmesan, but you didn't want the pasta with it. I didn't. Just, why are you getting chicken parmesan? You know why? You know what's interesting? southern cooking place. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't understand. I, mean, I never go for that. Listen, it was not. Exactly. Duralius is through. 
I didn't want. I really Deep fried okra and that's it. No, man. I'm get out I'm, of there. Catfish maybe. No, I'm. I'm. St- I think I'm done with that place because every time I go, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go there, and then I that go. Place like, is delicious. I don't want to mm-hmm. eat here. You don't order but, the right stuff. No, no. Get fried coke there. I didn't want the pasta. I figured, you know what? Because they give you chicken parmesan, they give you pasta, and then they give you two sides. You don't order I'm pasta. Like, I don't. I don't want the noodles. Maybe I'll get like broccoli instead of fucking noodles. Try to be healthy. Come mm-hmm. on, I'm trying to live another three years. Mm-hmm. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Get the grilled chicken, the veg medley. That stuff's good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, broccoli was garbage. That's what it was. The broccoli tasted like fucking My broccoli somebody was shit good, all over. Was time. Good. Yeah, no, the veggies there usually. You know where there's really good, good broccoli? I, I grub hubbed some uh, hardies, carabas. Oh, carabas! I, is yeah, but I mean, for grub hub, I was like, hey, I, guess <laughs> I feel a little Italian, and um, I just got a side of broccoli. <laughs> Samuel has that a side Italian. of broccoli in its own little uh, cup or whatever was the tastiest goddamn thing that I got in that grub. I was like, what do they do? What kind of magic do they do to this broccoli? Yeah, yeah, seasoning, boil it. Yeah, it was really bacon good. grease. Good, good night, you, good cooks. Yeah, you want to start a fight like. Mentioned to somebody, like, "Hey, Carabas is better than Olive Garden," and then you you <laughs> As if set the world on fire. Yeah, I was about to say they both. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I mean, they're that certain good. level. They're a fast. You know they're what you're getting. Good for a chain. I they're guess. good bone for a chain. They're in the bone they're fish fine. area. Exactly. Bonefish is I owned by bone Outback, 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 which Outback? is owned by uh, Olive Garden. Which is it's owned by all Mark the Cuban. Fucking, it's all <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> yeah, Mark owns I, it all. I'll be the first one. I'll go. I'll go. I think the breadsticks at Olive Garden are a joke. They're not like they're they're, they're, like, they're not they're that good. great at all. They're hard. I think that all they're right. a joke. I like that they're. I like their salad. He just sits and laughs at them yeah, all dinner. They're not as good as the cheese biscuits at Red Lobster. I'll tell you that damn much. <laughs> Those oh, things, my God, the cheddar biscuits. Those things yeah. are made by angels. And, and Outback <laughs> also owns Red Lobster. No yeah. joke. If and Outback's have... bread and butter is good too. If Red yeah. Lobster what? didn't have those cheddar biscuits, oh, it's they... got nothing else. Oh no, no. they just re- they need to rename the whole damn restaurant <laughs> Cheddar right. Biscuits. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. don't need to sell any sort of seafood. That's a good idea. All oh, their meals are disgusting. Not one person's <laughs> God, ordered lobster at Red Lobster in about no. seven God, years. No, God, no. Why would you? I I think I, I think I have. You sick <laughs> like, bastard. Oh, well, I, yeah, I got lobster tail for like an extra seven ninety nine, and it's my meal. But uh, yeah, those che- I just had those cheddar biscuits for like the first time a few years ago. Fucking crazy! Where they did are. you find a red I lobster at? Uh, I, you know, I was in Florida, oh, yeah. probably. So one there is no corner. red lobster in our city. No. no, no, there's one about we're, an hour away in Myrtle it's Beach. Exotic but we're big it. enough to have one. There might be one in Jacksonville too. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want one? Oh, yeah. We got no, so many good seafood one. joints just... around here. Like uh, the seafood. Oh, I'm, I like that Cape Fear Seafood Company. Yeah, Cape Fear yeah. Seafood. Oh yeah, yeah. down by Rachel's Beach. We've we got some good places yeah, to eat some seafood. Good. That's why we don't have red lobster. Catch is dope. All right. You know what? Going back to Carabas, uh, I was messing. <laughs> I was messing. Like, All right. Food. Listen, no, 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 no. I, it's enough food. This is game. There's gaming. There's <laughs> gaming involved. Okay, good. Because so, coming for me, listen, saying that, that means something. To me. Honestly, yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> a few years back, I was playing Overwatch with some friends, and I was just messing with people. I was like, hey, what do you guys think of Carabas? Just in the chat, you know, and <laughs> what's your favorite Tuscan delight from <laughs> And And I, I said, player of the game gets a... Fifty dollar Carabas gift card, but you got to tell me your favorite dish. And people were like messaging me, and uh, I got player of the game. Oh, <laughs> so, nice! So no one got it. Oh, there oh, you yeah. go. Yeah, but you bought yourself chicken, Brian. You had that? No, that's good. It's got like a. I don't. I'm not a big goat cheese fan. But it's got just a little bit on it and a bunch mm-hmm. of sauce. Yeah, you can overdo goat cheese pretty quick. Oh yeah. All right. All so, right. Enough? No, we're, no, done, no. we're done with Carabas. No, no. I'm gonna, now I'm adding one more thing to this. Okay. I got oh something too after you. We can't do that. You've well, extended our food I can't, conversation. Damn it. Well, it's well, a good You absolutely can. Like, does anyone here like potatoes and eggs? No, like what? Sure. I don't. Oh. Yeah. Of course you do. You're fucking Italian. Yeah. So, uh, so maybe it's an Italian thing. Potatoes and onions and eggs was a very big breakfast thing for me. But it takes a little while to cook them. But I've been using Nathan's French fries. By the way, you ever buy frozen Nathan's French fries? I've never had their French fries. Best French fries ever. Bake them, mash them up with a fork, mix in the onions and the eggs and the cheese in there. I throw a little cheese in there for a really good (laughs) breakfast. Boom, potatoes and eggs. That sounds good. That's it, period. Now we can move on. Life hack. What do you feel like eating tonight? Maybe you want to make your ma's famous meatloaf recipe, but you don't have any ground beef, and there's no way you're going to the store. Or you want something from your favorite restaurant, but you'd rather stay home and eat a PB&J for dinner than go get it. 
no problem, because DoorDash connects you with everything you want, whenever and however you want it, right now and right to your door. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items in under an hour delivered with DoorDash. And with DoorDash, you get everything in one app. Ordering is easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless drop-off. And for a limited time, our community will get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code NEEBS. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code NEEBS. Don't forget, that's code NEEBS for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change in terms apply. Thank you, DoorDash. All right, let's pivot. What's, pivot. what's anybody been doing for fun? Eating. Yeah. Yeah. Eating. Eating for fun. It was, uh, my dog, Bear, it was his seventh birthday. Oh, oh yeah. what a big boy. Uh, Bubba recently ch- turned three, like in the last week or so. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, nice. It that's amazing. Dog I mean, party. They just... Yeah, I mean, obviously get older, but like Bear, like I'll always picture like your daughter, Simon, you know, forever four. Right, right. Bear's forever four in my brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish he could stay four forever. Yeah. If I can make oh. him immortal, yeah. I'd do it. Heartbeat. You can clone him. Dude. Um, we don't want that. We don't want that. Mm, Emily, I do. Emily, like, because we'll go and get our Frisbee on as much as possible. It's been a little chilly, but the what's amazing about when it's cold and you know how far you can throw a frisbee and like she's sprinting the whole time she brings it back fast if it's cold and she doesn't get hot you know she, it's just non-stop like she can go forever i don't understand how the endurance like well i mean she's you know yeah. she's about two Animal. and a half but good god, god yeah and she weighs what 25 pounds yeah she's I mean, probably 20? She just she's all muscle. She didn't have a lot to haul. Yeah, she, yeah, she seems. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it doesn't change like heart rate. Greyhoundish. Like, you know, you'd think you'd get somewhat winded no matter what if you're a living thing in time. It's, it's in it's her constant. blood. That's the thing. It's like that's. I guess well, that's what. Yeah, her it's impressive. Breed. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah. She looks like a little miniature greyhound. She does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go straight cute, hour. Cute little thing. And she she won't drink water. I'll have to yell at her to drink water. It's like <laughs> she's just looking at the frisbee, like, "Why would I fucking like, do that?" Hey, I don't want to water. Top of your lungs. I am, water, and, and people at Target are concerned. Worried. So when it comes to dogs and water, if you live in my house, you know that you do not go in the kitchen with socks on because that's where the dog bowl is. Mm-hmm. Why don't you have a towel under there? We do. Oh, he likes to drink and mm-hmm. then walk, do laps around the kitchen with his drippy face. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Trippy ass face. <laughs> well, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last podcast or not, but I brought my old water cooler here to the office. You yeah. did. My new water cooler has a dog bowl at the bottom, oh, so I just oh I, my I, God. I just press the button with the paw on it and oh, oh, nice oh, clean shit. water. That's pretty. Yeah, that's it pretty goes cool. to my dog because I'm on well water at my house. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I don't drink. You guys drink the freaking water on here. I still no, this had yeah. it for years. Hell, yeah, exactly. Ooh, Ever since. Can't, how crazy is that? That's fucking still blows my mind that Dupont or yeah, yeah. a company can, can poison what Chemors, they do yeah. mm-hmm. uh, forty miles or however many miles up the river, and their fines are like a tenth of the profit they've been able to make from saving, from dumping illegally. They know And how. we get charged for poisoned water that I can only use to shit. Yeah. Yeah, they, well, they show their good shower. RX card to the people that Good RX. Them. Yeah. Man, I mean, I think, I think <laughs> they say it. that it's okay now. There's only <laughs> one part per billion, whatever. No. Uh, but well, how well, no one's doing test, it. They did no one, studies. They well, they do it. test it, but no they one's... They yeah, test it. I know. That's, I, don't, I'm, I don't drink it either because I don't trust it. I know. But I'm just saying, they say it's safe. That was a big deal, uh, what, a couple years ago, a few years ago? Yeah. It like, yeah. got all the, yeah. the press and stuff like that, and I'm sure just them up there were like, you know, just wait a little bit. Yeah, They'll, it'll pass. Just like everything, you know? Well, it's still a thing, because here recently, the county or state or something made them uh, increase their testing onto private wells and other things. Yeah. And there's, like, on their website, I was reading the article, there's a place you can go call the number and say, come check my well. Oh, all right, I want to switch gears. We okay. really need to make things fun. Yeah, okay, we're going back yeah. to fun. At least an idea. So we know Aztecia. Yeah. 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 Right, so she messaged me. She's like, hey, you know, I, I saw 
this game. It would be, you know, fun, maybe fun for you to play. And I think it would be fun, more fun if, if I didn't play it by myself, but I could maybe play it by myself. It's Power Washing Simulator. Oh. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay. So I, you know, when I was watching the trailer for it and I was watching, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't really know exactly how to play, except for you got to clean things. And it looks very satisfying. And that's a big marketing ploy for them, too, because they're like, everyone's just like, ooh, ah, because like. Mm-hmm. I, I it, used to pressure wash for years as part of one of the things that I did. You see in that dirty... Yeah. And I, it, it feels I good it. to clean shit. It, fe- it, it feels thick. good in particular to get a filthy driveway or a filthy house. Vic <laughs> disagrees. Visceral clean, cleanup. Visceral yeah. yeah. fence. <laughs> Visceral cleanup. Is that what the game Visceral was? cleanup. Yes. Oh, that game was awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I remember, no. yeah, oh, I remember so that. mad But like that. doing a fence. Like, I mean, even right now, like I would enjoy like if, if I went to your house and you were pressure washing and you're like, I got to go somewhere for an hour. I'd be like, oh, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll finish. You can do that anytime you want to. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just saying I'd ha- the timing would have to be really well, don't good. Don't be afraid to ask me. All right. Well, as long as you, you get set up and you're shooting already and I see how good it looks, chances are I'll take over. Oh, yeah? That's what I'm saying. I got a neighbor. He was uh, pressure washing his driveway last summer, and the spread on his pressure wash was probably one to two inches. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I mean, he was just going back and forth like one of the old printers. <sighs> That'd take forever. <laughs> Took him no, all day. That doesn't sound matrix. fun like that. <laughs> Inch and a half yeah. is probably what you need to bring a re- like a fence that's been not treated for 10 years back to life. And what's crazy is... I'm getting excited about this. You could bring <laughs> you could bring a fence that's been untreated for ten years, looking like it was only a year old. With and you have to do it that way, and you go up, down, up, down, and listen. It's repetitive, and it, that's why you get paid four or five hundred bucks for the day to do it. It takes or day and a half because it's it's a pain in the ass. But just like painting, some people hate painting. Mm-hmm. I like painting. I hate it. You know that we for jobs. Yeah, I know, but you know it's one of those things. So anyway, back to the game. Mm-hmm. Is anyone interested in playing with me? I only want people who can see themselves really getting into it. Is it multiplayer? It. You, yes. Oh. There are. It's co-op slash you could have up to six players. So I don't know if co-op means they have like a two-person mode. I should know this. And then and then they have up to six players too. It's, it's so, seemed, so I don't know if it sounds like different. co-op up to, up to six players. Okay. okay just yeah. so I didn't know if. It uh, seems like something that should be in VR. Honestly, yeah. Hold on. I'll look it up. Right it? Wow. I mean, yeah, you not think. that it is. I'm just saying it just seems like that would be the best way to. You know what? I wouldn't like it in VR because my legs feel would like real hurt. work. i got to stand. I, that, if, as long as I could sit while I was doing it. There must be people, especially, you know, like people that don't game that are, that's what they do for a living. And you tell them this is a thing and they go, are you, ki- are you kidding me? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like imagine just some job that's really, mon- I don't know, you're working on an assembly line plucking chicken feathers or something now there's a game about it <laughs> right yeah it's one of the, yeah a lot of these simulator games uh yeah kind of fall like trucking simulator like what you just drive a truck from point a to point b what i love it the, like uh, i used to game? work in a yeah it's a very popular one the one that i looked super. at today euro like, trucker all yeah, those all yeah those. Oh, and farming one, simulator the yeah. one i looked at was uh yeah american trucker but yeah 2016 it had like like 50,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and i, I could see that s- yeah, I, I, I imagine the thing about Power Wash Simulator is is the satisfaction from the game comes from cleaning, and I just imagine a person sitting in a shithole playing this. All right, game. right, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Just like clean your room. Yeah, you, you know what would add a little bit of intrigue to me is if there was a boss every now and then, a boss fight. Yeah, like a really dirty uh, <laughs> prostitute that yeah, that something. keeps attacks you and tries tries to keep on turning yeah, off you the pressure washer, and you have to ooh. clean her and push her back with the power. There you go. I like that. Like a little fire genie shows up because you know you got the pressure washer. Oh yeah. I tell you what, man. The best thing about pressure washer is playing with a gun. The pressure oh, yeah. washer gun shooting up in the air. Like yeah, feels so fucking cool. Yeah, waste that water. Love it. I just Love like it. cleaning things. Yeah, clean. I'm not a waster like Appsro. No, I used yeah. to do it all the time. I had to pressure wash the uh, uh, the dingy ass car wash at the McDonald's. So, were you one of those? So, so there's pressure washers that I I'm a bit anal when it comes down to stuff like this, like painting or whatever. So, I see people pressure wash a lot, and you go, "Oh yeah, you're the guy who's got it. You got your own, and you're doing your own steps, or you're doing your own driveway." And then I see all the black little fainted lines because the they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they just they went too wide and they're like ah hey, look it's getting clean and you go no it are you one of those them. people me no no oh, i was good. thorough all right good. i made my shit look good don't mm. be that person out no there. no if you're one you one of those do it, you gotta do it right do it fucking right 
Tell you what, I do like those. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen it. it. It's a pressure washer, but it looks like a lawnmower. I've not yes, seen it. Yes, it's, yeah. it's got all the jets. Yeah, all the jets are under, under it. Oh, it, yeah. yeah, yeah so, yeah, you that. can hit a driveway. You can do a driveway oh, super God. quick. Okay. Very quick. That makes up, sense. Down, That's up, cool. Down, like, boom, you can cover yeah. a big area of concrete beats really that quick. inch and a half. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can rent them. Uh, you can go to your local two rental places and get them, too. You how can do rent you, them. How do you use those on the, on the fence? You got to hold it up. You don't. You can't. knock your fence down. All right. It's true. Yeah, you take your fence up, you put it down. Yeah, you use it, and then you put it back up. Okay. It's easy. It's easy. Easy peasy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, guys. So, to... pressure washer simulator. Any other uh, any other silly little games that you might have seen out there that you Well, like, we ah. played that one on the stream, World Box. That was very fun. <laughs> oh, the one you pulled up that one <laughs> yeah, map. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was um uh, a buddy of mine recommended it to me and he uh, I guess he got it on his phone. It's like, "Man, this is a good little god game." And I saw it on Steam. It's like, "Yeah, whatever. I'll check it out." It's great. Cuz I you're basically, you know, it's it's pixelated, but you're a god in this world. You can put down people and animals. You can fill the land how you you're want. You're basically but... looking at like a map of the world, but yeah. it's, you can see the little people moving on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we set it, set it up on the stream. We had like, what, three or four islands. It's like, okay, we're putting Simon on this island, Neebs on this island, uh, Dora on this island. And in my head, I was like, all right, this is something we might play for 30, 45 minutes. And a couple I hours for sure. played it for like an hour and a half. Something like that. Uh, yeah. We played it for more than an hour and a half, I think. My island Maybe. thrived. It did really well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Island, yeah. They we took over Simon's in Island. So <laughs> I'm in. Like, right. And you brought it up. I forgot about it, kind of, sort of. I saw you playing it earlier on. It came up that you played earlier on today. Yeah. But I'm down. Like, we should play that tonight. That one map <laughs> that you pulled up, it was like, what, DLC or someone designed it? It was oh, the yeah, United you, States. You can, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. You, you oh, can go yeah. to the Steam Workshop, and so. people have created all kinds of maps. There's, like, a Europe map, a uh, United States map, a world map with, like, all the continents. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool little god game. And, it's, you know, you can create civilizations. You can drop meteorites. You can create monsters. Bowling you know, balls for some reason. Bowling balls. Crabzilla. <laughs> Crabzilla. Yeah. Oh, we know that exists. Up, yeah. Bowling balls. So that big? Come on. The that civilizations cap off at it. They don't really get too technological. Yeah, no, that's what I think it, that game needs. If uh, if they keep developing that game, um, I hope they make it where civilizations can advance to the point where they can, you know, go to war and like, you know, fly planes, drop bombs on each other, maybe even make it to space, shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like if they could advance that far. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fun to watch. At the very least, drop bombs on one another. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, because right now I think they they kind of top out of like medieval just swords and bows and arrows, and that's mm -hmm. as far as it gets. I mean, little oh, airplanes gosh. that fly to another island and drop yeah. paratroopers yeah. or yeah. Oh, yeah. missiles. That'd yeah. be cool. But okay. I do like the boat, you know, because the, they got the ships out there. Yeah, they got you know, boats. manned with people, so they'll go and invade an island with like yeah. I, don't, I don't know how many people fit in there, but it looks like a lot of little ants. Because what they look like, yeah. there's yeah. like you know fat ants kind of running around there from the view that you get. It's, it looks <laughs> great, especially when they're all going nuts and there's so many all over the place, and you like zoom in, mm -hmm. and they really do look like yeah, ants. It's, and, it's and simple and design, but it, it's panic. it's effective. Mm hmm. Oh, that was fun to watch. Yeah. World box. Check it out. It's like it creates its own story and the whole... Yeah, it's very passive. It's just, okay, mm -hmm. here's a world. I'm going to put some shit in it. And you just watch it. Yeah. Uh, well, when we're done here, I got a, I got a cut of some Battlefield Friends to show you guys. Oh, I'm excited. Not you guys, nice. but you guys. Oh, no. oh thank you. Oh, well, yeah. you guys, not the, uh, not, not the listeners. Just say, Sorry. yeah, oh, okay, wow. you said it right. Well, damn. But just so you know, we're making progress. Well, that's good. It's good yeah. to know. Well, yeah. Shit, man, that's like, you know, good news. That is Slip good news. in here. Mm -hmm. What was the other game I tried last night? Sifu. Let's talk about Astro about it. Oh yeah, that looks great. Um, happened upon a. Oh, I heard an. Ooh, mm. I actually Cape Fear Sifu. Saw Sifu like <laughs> the image of it. It's a, so it's a, it sounds like it's an anime type game. I mean, it, yeah, it looks a little cartoony. Um, okay. The graphic style's a little. It's interesting. Yeah, it's very yeah, it's very like uh, kung fu movie inspired. Yeah. Um, have oh, you I heard, did see that. Yeah, the fighting, uh, how it, on the like it's really pretty in depth, for sure. You know, you got your whole parry thing and all these other things you can do. But it's like a it's a revenge story. But you're if your character dies, you come back older and older and older and older, and eventually, like you, you know, it kind of is to your detriment. But I, I found I'm that sure. pretty intriguing. I wonder how old has that. How old is the oldest? Like, the, can it go to know. the point where it'd be interesting if the if you literally were like a senior citizen? <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, you. I think it gets up there. Yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. that's great because you, you're literally walking around like an old man that's got to kick ass like, and fight. Yeah, throwing AARP cards up <laughs> yeah. like stars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I didn't know about that aspect until you told me that earlier yeah. today. Like, I I was I thought the game looked good, but I didn't really have any interest in it. But now I'm 
kind of want to try yeah, it. Yeah, the like, story How does that work? The story's really, uh, the layout and the whole design of it's really uh, intriguing. I just scratched the surface last night and kind of got through the um, the intro part, you know. Um, but the, which is also a very nice tutorial. That intro yeah. over the credits, uh-huh. that tutorial's pretty brilliant. Okay, rock and roll. So you you were doing the signals as if you do play this on controller. Yeah, you you. It's not yeah, something you don't no. want to do. Okay, it's too bad because I mean I can't do anything. There's just on... too many buttons to. It makes sense for a. It's totally designed for a controller. Hmm. You know, it's one of those things. Anyway, right. yeah, I was trying something new. Give it a shot. We'll see how that goes. Sheeple. Just something to throw on every now and then on a. On the PS5, basically, I want to just see like how pretty the graphics are on the PS5. Shit, you know what I mean? Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that. It doesn't show it off like um, Sh- 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 Go- Shakira. 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 No, though you played through it. Oh, um, Ghost uh, of Tsushima. Tsushima. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. yeah. Now that oh, God, you that know, game. now that's some pretty shit. That game's gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah, mm. it doesn't even compare to that. But a lot of people are talking about how Sifu looks so good. And I'm like, you seen Ghost of Tsushima? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, it looks good for what it does. It's a cartoon yeah, sure. style, but yeah, it's like, okay, it's done very well. Yeah, it's pretty now, neat. Now, right now, what's the best VR headset? I Probably. mean, I still think Quest 2 is just for its simplicity, its um, the amount of content on it, the wireless aspect. Yeah, yeah. Qu- Quest 2 is the easiest to use yes. and the most affordable. No. Uh, the, H, the, the Vive or whatever. Vive's the, still the best. The latest version or of that. Or the Index is still the best. Yeah, yeah. so that's going to have your best resolution. But I believe, I've and I believe Anthony said this, and I've heard others say it, it's not worth the amount of money so. that you're paying. Yeah, not the anymore. The visual yeah. upgrade that you're yeah. getting. Not the, up, the visuals on 2, on the Oculus 2, are... are Pretty damn good. They're pretty fucking good. So which one works with the PS5? They, they have, have their, their own. own. Oh, they, oh the <laughs> PS5 <laughs> has PSVR. their own headset. Oh, no. <laughs> they always, the, their, their PS4 had their own headset, right? Yeah, the PSVR. Yeah, so I'm assuming the, the 5 did. PS5. PS5 5. I mean, they probably just brought the 4 over to 5. I don't know if the 5's got a yeah. new headset the or anything. I don't think that's so. That's what, Facebooks or mm-hmm. Meta's? Man, did you, did you hear? <laughs> heard they lost a lot of money. Well, that well, that's a whole separate thing. That what I was going to bring up. Uh, apparently, I guess they're t- whatever they're fucking doing with this metaverse shit. Somebody got in and like groped a lady. So now, I guess if you're in there, I- I- any sort of metaverse or Facebook virtual reality world, like you have a bubble. Oh my that god! That people. Can- what does I mean, that of mean? Course. What does that mean? Groped a lady in a. So not really groped, but just like groped bumped digitally. into. Yeah, but what, how do you how even do you grope, grope digitally? Did you just act like you're doing I know you it? Might not so know. you walk up, so yeah, you're like, imagine in VR, and you see me in VR, yeah. and I come up to you, and I'm like, using my oh, with hands, the hands to grab yeah. your tits. Because yeah. like, you could see like, in there, you could yeah. see your actual yeah. hands, Yeah, exactly. you're going up to a figure, and they... Uh, oh, I mean, Christ. they didn't see that coming? <laughs> right, that should have so been when like they, day one. Fuck. What do we expect Like the worst part of humanity to do with our technology? <laughs> right. Just know. Anybody developing a website... Or you know anything that wants to attract a large group of people, that's the first thing you got to ask of yourself. Course. How are people going to abuse this? Right, <laughs> and how can we prevent it? And let's face it, the bubble, it's still gonna, it's probably going to be even more traumatic. Just imagine like twenty people around your bubble all doing the booby squeeze. <laughs> to the now you have to. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be pretty pretty traumatic. Ooh, hey baby, can I get your I, bubble? I don't know what to do. My bubble needs to be like ten times bigger. Ooh baby, it's been drag. Yeah. I was, I was drag. <laughs> nice. Wow, where you been, buddy? Yeah. I don't know. You're still in that cave. <laughs> Is there going like, to be police in there? Oh my oh, god, police police. Police. Yeah, yeah. Cops in the metaverse beating the shit out of everybody. <laughs> yeah. You're getting <laughs> shot that, at home. Be like trials for people getting killed like unjustly in the metaverse. Like you killed my metaverse character. Yeah. Oh god. Where it's are we heading? cops are out of control there. <laughs> they really yeah. are. They're corrupt. I wish what's his face wasn't so fucking weird. Zuckerberg. I know. Zuckerberg? It would make things a lot I don't know. More yeah, palatable. if he had personality. I would it's be charmed dude, into man. that fucking I crazy like, world. I, I feel like a lot of those guys are a bit weird. Yeah, I like, mean, yeah, we know Elon's a, Elon Musk a weirdo, but yeah. Bezos. Well, you live in that world, man. I mean, you know, you're waking up every day and you're in this uh, this bubble, really, where you know you're developing this fucking crazy. Yeah, who do you relate to? Technology, yeah. It's like on that level. Of- you're not probably, yeah. You're not, you're not going to talk about like going down to KFC and. It just kind of sucks when they bolt. feel the need to be. Um, uh, in the spotlight as far, you know, it's like the ego kind of, you know, keep oh, making yeah. this yeah. good product, but you don't really need to be a... Well, sp- Facebook, oof, 
Facebook's been losing members for sure. Now they 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 peaked. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. People are finally falling off. I haven't used that website in years. Oh, I, I'm still there, but I'm like yeah. you know the, us seniors. We need to <laughs> stay together. Yeah, there's got to be a place where everyone talks to each other, right? Golden Corral, whatever. Is that Communities. Called? Communities, That's huh? still good, right? That's still out there? Yeah. Well, Facebook ruined itself with all the political shit. For sure. It's yeah. just like, it got so toxic. Yeah. But, you know, and even Twitter's kind of getting there. And But, you know, that could just be like the algorithms. Like, that's what it wants to feed everybody. Mm-hmm. It's like, look at this political shit. Mm-hmm. You really get engaged. Get mad. Stay here. Stay engaged. Stay mad. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, when we need, no, I'm out. We just need some actual discourse and some... No, no, Instead no, of no, the no, whole, no, I, no, no, no. I want to bitch in thirty-two characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I had no nuance necessary. Hmm. Good stuff. Yeah, great stuff. All right, so, best. what's something really like fun, fun, and, and, fun and bubbly to like? Yeah, bubbly what fun. Would be usually the January six have... riots. Yeah, f- <laughs> <laughs> fun <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what excites me. What summer? It's February. Yeah. Oh man! Ooh. Every day we're get closer to March, mm-hmm. and March is when the time change happens, yeah. and that's when the days are longer. I know. I can't wait. <gasps> so that's good. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't I mean to interrupt. With my, okay, I you just go ahead to say something just because that reminds me. I know that do some this. of you don't care. But I'm, I'm going to a concert next week, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, a boy. Me. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a good going time. To see Imagine Dragons. Yeah. Nice. So that's I heard that's a good show, and you know, I mean, I like some of their music for sure, and I'm just interested in seeing like a good show. It'll with be a pretty good, good seats. Production. So that's one oh, thing. Sure. But I'm seeing them, and then I'm you know I'm staying overnight where we're at, and then we're driving back home on Super Bowl Sunday. Do you give a shit? I do. Who are you looking for? I'm going for the Rams. Yes. Why? I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, well, there you go. I'm going because of the quarterback. And, all right, who's, oh, shit. Who's in the Super Bowl? Uh, the, the L.A. Rams and the... What the fuck's the other The Bengals. Team? Bengals, yeah. Which so, is also... They're both, like, good stories to win. Okay. No matter who wins, I'm going to be happy, but I like a good football story. Where are the Bengals from? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. So, um, my mom gave me an old jacket when I was, like, four years old. It's, Tiny thing. Yeah. Still you're going to say, oh, still fits you. Because <laughs> <laughs> it does. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm a grown man. Funny because uh, it's true. But, uh, but no, it's a Los Angeles Rams. I bet it's awesome. Jacket, like a leather, like it's, yeah. I gotta, yeah. You were getting leather shoot. jackets when you were four? It was, it's probably not real leather, but All it's right. got, it's like a varsity jacket. <laughs> yeah, you know? I got you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. But that's when they were in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. Because they've moved around. A they bunch. have. So then they, I thought so they, they were, were San Diego. I didn't really pay much attention to it. No, no that's Chargers. Char- Chargers. Yeah, that's you right. can, I get. I even I get them mixed up too because yeah. neither one of them are my teams. But uh, but the quarterback is it Stratford? Is that his name? Stafford. 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 Whatever. He was on the he was on the the, the shitty team for like his entire career. The and Lions, he could never do yeah. anything. And then first year out. Did they? I wonder if they've ever he's used in the Super Bowl. Have they ever called it the Stafford infection? Maybe I hope so. You Some, hope. at least one headline yeah. somewhere. So I'm going. I'm going for them too. But I the, could give a fuck. Anyway, two yeah, Cincinnati. Garams. And you're an Ohio guy. I know Cincinnati. But I hate Ohio. Yeah, I love I know. Los it's, Angeles. It's too bad. Actually, okay. I wouldn't. You couldn't pay me enough money to live there right now. Yeah. So Super Bowl is this Sunday. This coming up. Sunday. Yep. Yeah. When's All this right. podcast coming? Is this podcast this week? Um, It'll be after the Super Bowl. Actually, no, it's after okay. the Super Bowl. So, yeah, Bowl. this podcast. Yeah, yeah, so, this, this podcast is after, yeah. So, congratulations, team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you footballed well. <laughs> you did. Um, I was, uh, this is, well, since we're going all, it's like freestyle right now, but uh, I know I brought this up, I think, last week. Um, I don't know who was all in the office, but uh, given the whole shark, uh, lightning conversation we've had, right? And I read about the longest recording, the longest distance of a. Do you guys hear about this? No, yeah. you told me. Yeah, you right, told right. us about it. A couple of us were in here. The longest lightning strike distance, stri- like how long the? I don't even know how to say. The bolt. It, you know? The bolt, bolt was. Yes, yeah. It was five, almost five hundred miles. Wow! Isn't that insane and hard to wrap your head around? Yeah. Was, like what the. Where was this? I think it was over the states. So I think I had double checked, but um, and then I found out reading that article about the longest duration of one, which was like seventeen seconds. 
And both I'm of like, those, like, I don't even know how to, what? Yeah, can't imagine seeing a lightning bolt at last 17 seconds. And that was recorded a few years ago, I believe. Well, I'm more amazed by the 500 miles. I know. Because yeah. I could see, you know, like maybe just something continuing to go, and you go like, it's like Thor shooting a load up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, there you go. But, uh, how do they measure I mean, that? Would have had they're to both been, amazing. It would have had to have been skylighting, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like, guess. You wouldn't have hit the ground. You There's got to be footage. Lighting. There's yeah. got to be something. Yeah. There's got to be something out there. I didn't. Yeah. I just read that article. Facts. Yeah, <laughs> but maybe. Miles, Facts, 17, maybe. Could you imagine if it was that long and then that the duration as well? Like, that would have. That'd be like end of the world. You'd think you'd we're think, done. Yeah. We're done, right? We're probably uh, done yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Come get me. There's the bubbly ender we needed. Yeah. The sun's going to explode. <laughs> Here we go. But listen, you know what? In case the world doesn't end, we'll see you next time. Yeah. You're damn right we will. Yeah, we'll be right here. <laughs> Only on the talk, talk about food, likely. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, boo, bye.